Oh my god. Oh my god. It's the Turner Fries. Hi. I need a snack. So let's make him a cake. I'm really excited about this one. I had so much fun making it. It's Blue from If, and I'm going to show you how I created him. Thank you to Paramount Pictures who asked me to create a cake for the new IF film by John Krasinski. I'm really excited about this movie coming out on May the 17th. Are you ready for this? Not gonna ask you again. Put some pants on, you're freaking everyone out. So I love all the different imaginary friends in this one. I just love the styling of them. They're all absolutely amazing. But I think to start with, I'm gonna create the marshmallow guy first. What if we made marshmallow guy out of marshmallows and rice krispies melted together? Oh yeah, that sounds good. So after creating his shape, I need to cover him fully in fondant. I'm just using some white fondant. And did you know you can actually get marshmallow flavored stuff as well, which is ideal for this? I'm gonna eat it up with my little mini blow torch. I love the bubbling. Then I'm gonna create him some eyes. Yeah, that's gonna grow right back. Stick his eyes in place. Blow torch him again. I don't really need to, but you know what? I just love watching the bubbling gonna stick his legs on at the bottom and then for his flame we're gonna use some Vietnamese rice paper which I'm just painting with some water and food color now these need to set and dry so once they have dried they'll crisp up nicely and be a little bit transparent and I'm just gonna push those onto his head you can use a bit of piping gel if it won't stick on its own thanks for doing this Next, let's move on to Sunny the Sunflower. I'm going to use some yellow modeling chocolate for this guy. Just pushing in all his features. I think actually maybe he's my favorite one. I had so much fun creating this one. Can you believe that Paramount Pictures uh, paid me to create these? So let's add on some extra detailing now just by painting in some food color. Really watered down so it kind of drips into all the gaps and then we'll add on extra details like his eyes. Did you have an imaginary friend when you were younger? Now, I didn't have an imaginary friend, but I'm just wondering how many people did. Okay, let's make him some petals. So these are just made out of flower paste that are cut to petal shapes. They do have to be wired. And then once they're dry, I'm gonna cover them in edible food powder, like in colored dusts. And then we'll add these all the way around his head. I need two layers of those. And then the finishing touches in his eyes with a little dot of white and then a little bit of edible glaze on there as well. Now next, let's do Blossom. Now I know I said Sunny was my favorite, but maybe, maybe she's actually my favorite. I had so much fun making all of these. So after shaping her face, I'm just gonna add some edible food color dust as well on there just to give her a bit of extra kind of shading. And we're gonna cut out some details in her eyes, give her some little eyebrows. All of this is just made out of modeling paste and the odd bit of modeling chocolate as well. Now a bit of glaze in her eyes and nose and then her little antennas, a little bit of hair. And I had to do this all the way around the back. It's quite tricky actually, it was her hair. I didn't want to squash her face while adding it. And of course she's got these great big eyelashes that I really wanted to get on there as well as some gloss on her hair. Now, next onto Blue, he needs a big frame. Otherwise, it won't hold the weight of all the cake we're gonna put on him. Now, it's important to make the frame food safe with lots of pieces of card and plastic piping. And to color the board, I actually painted it in food coloring as well. Now, drilling in holes, ready for the figures, and then I'm gonna make plenty of buttercream for this one. So I'm gonna start by layering on my buttercream, and I'm gonna be using some sheets of cake, which I did actually cheat and buy because the size of these cakes, they don't fit in my oven for me to bake them myself. So I, I bought them pre-made. I know, completely cheated. So we're going to layer it up with the buttercream in between the layers. And I'm going to try and sculpt and shape kind of his arms in there as I go along. Just squeezing it in where I can. He's fairly wide, fairly big. I'm going to keep going till I've reached the height I need him to be. And then we can carve him to the shape. Now, I did ask people while I was partway through making him who they thought it was. A few people thought it was a potato. Um, he's not a potato, but you'll see him start to take shape shortly. I covered him in ganache, which is just chocolate and cream melted together. Uh, that kind of hardens, hardens up a little bit, so it gives us a nice chocolatey shell. While that's setting, I'm going to make some chocolate tiffin or chocolate biscuit cake. And we've got some chocolate for this. 
and I'm going to add lots of things to that chocolate to create the tiffin. But first of all, I'm just going to put a thin layer of chocolate on its own in this little cake mold that I've got, just so it's smooth on one side. Then my remaining chocolate, I'm adding golden syrup and butter to. Then I'm going to add in lots of extra treats like some fudge and some biscuits, um, things that I'm going to just crush up and mix in there. Even some white chocolate too. Mom said too much candy isn't good for your tummy, but I said... Oh my God. So once all that's mixed in, I can pop that in my little cake mold and leave that to set. I did actually add a bit of chocolate to the top. Now you can see I forgot to make sure I tempered my chocolate correctly. So it has bloomed a little bit on the surface, but we're going to cover this and create the if logo out of it. So we're not going to see the chocolate has bloomed on the top. It still tastes nice. So I've cut that to shape. I'm going to ganache around the edges. I've used white chocolate for this just to smooth it off and then a thin layer of fondant. I tried to go really thin with this all the way around the edges. I'm also going to add some edible powdered colored dust to that as well. And then fondant on the front and the back of each of the letters too. I'm going to add a bit of extra detailing with some little lines just around the edge. A little bit more powdered color at the front as well. Wanted to try and make it match the logo for the film. And of course, now we're going to go back to blue and create his mouth. I couldn't decide whether to do it open or close, but I feel like he's got these cute little teeth that really I should put on there and, and show. So we've gone for little teeth just out of bits of fondant. And then I'm going to cover him in some purple fondant everywhere. Now I did actually mix fondant and modeling chocolate together for this guy. It was fairly thickly put on because I needed it to be thick to put all the hairlines and details in that we need on this guy. Also, when you can see when I don't work fast enough, it starts to dry out a little bit. But I think overall you couldn't tell on this one. It took me quite a while to put in all those little hairlines. I did add some extra sort of hairs that I rolled out individually as well. But I had to put these everywhere on him. So I just tried to cover it a little bit at a time and then do the hairlines. And then of course extra details went on almost at the end, like his ears. And I used a paler purple than he actually is. So I painted over the top with some purple food coloring, really watered down so it would drip into each of the gaps of the hairlines. And then just extra bits like his eyebrows were painted on. Then of course we need to put in his eyes. Little highlight of white, just mix them and come to life a bit more. And now let's move on to Ali. While he's drying, I'm gonna work on her. So she was a fairly large figure. So I did actually put a polystyrene ball inside her tummy and next the character played by emily blunt the, the unicorn again lots of texture going on this one little details like the little eyelashes all made out of modeling paste and some edible gold painted on the horn i like this one because it had lots of nice bright colors in its mane and hair and of course in the film you can see it's got that little flecks of gold next let's move on to s dog so I'm just going to use some brown modeling paste for him. Lots of hair textures on this guy. Of course, he's got his little superhero boots. I need to make them a little bit more shiny and sparkly. So we're going to paint those up. Same for his superhero gloves. And of course, he needs a cape. Now I'm holding it up with skewers just till it dries and I'll remove them later. And of course, more texturing on his head as well. And then we're just going to add little details on his nose. And more texturing. I did so much texturing on this cake that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> And then of course, all these little facial details like his mask. So for the middle of most of these, they have to have an armature, especially the taller ones like Sunny and Blossom. So this is just the armature wire that I use inside. And you can see I tape it together to create an internal structure. So this particular one is Sunny. It's very tall and thin, lots of wires and florist tape on there. Then I can cover over it with the modeling paste. So I started with his shoes, rolling it thin and kind of cutting it to shape, adding little details like stitching and little like eye holes or little eyelets. I'm not sure what they're called for what you put shoelaces in. I had to let each set at a time. So I would then move on to Blossom's feet while I was waiting for Sunny's feet to set. And then we go back to Sunny. I used some yellow modeling chocolate on his trousers and I did paint it with some very diluted food color for the checks. And of course, then onto his body, he's wearing a little suit jacket. Lots of stitching details on there. His hands are made out of leaves. Now, I know I said Sunny was my favorite. I still can't decide if he's my favorite or if Blossom is. Or oh, actually, I, I like Ali as well. I can't wait for this film to come out in the cinema.
Okay, so he's all done and ready. Hi. Now, to get the nice pearl effect, I used some edible powdered dust, again, a pearlized one. I painted this on some wafer paper, so this is edible. And then I softened it by spraying or misting on some water. And we're going to fold this up to create blossom skirt. And it doesn't look like much on its own, but when we've done a few of these and put them together and then press them into her body, and I had to press them really firmly, they, they look nice. Then I just needed to dress her with her little waistcoat, the little frilly collar, braces, and of course, little buttons. And then this all needs to be painted up with that luster dust powder mix that I've made head on and then just extra little details like her little sleeves. Now she has these green wings that flop down at the back and white little hands and there she is. So once everyone's done and they've had a bit of time to set, we're gonna sit those on the board in those holes that I drilled earlier. the hard bit. I'm gonna transport this guy with his friends uh, to the press junket and we'll see if all the stars like it. Not sure if I was a lot of help to the hotel staff. Oh yeah, also let's meet the stars. Hi everybody! Uh -huh. Oh my god! I've been losing my mind for 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> my, that's not cake. Okay. <gasps> that's not okay! Are we on, is it cake? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my. What sorcery is this? This is. <laughs> no <laughs> way! Yeah, yeah. Please. Please. Oh. Give me a hug. That is so I, beautiful. Like, Thank you for doing it. Oh you made that? I made it. Thank you. I can't eat that. I'm not eating it. Oh. I can't. That's so good. He's this is white. genius. You're a genius. I mean, I want to look up at the camera, but I don't. Because this is too. <laughs> this this is was amazing. Oh so my so god. Way. You are Thank really good. Thank you for doing this. And then just the cake cutting. Oh God. I know a few people didn't want me to cut blue. Did I mention that I thought that I was colorblind when I was first told blue was called blue? Cause obviously he's purple. Who's that slice for then, Zoe? It's your slice. Is it? Look what I got. Thank you, Paramount Pictures. So this was the best day ever for me. I had so much fun making the cake, so much fun meeting the lovely cast. Uh, just a great experience for me overall. And if you guys want to see the other video I made for Paramount Pictures a while ago, with Paw Patrol Mighty Movie One, you can find that one over on my YouTube channel now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>